In this video, I'm going to show you a neat trick for comparing numbers in Microsoft Excel. In this example, I have sales representatives and I have their sales units. And what I want to be able to see is who had the highest, who had the lowest, and how did all these figures compare with each other. Now I could read each individual number and, and determine this information, but that's because this is a very short list. If I had many, many more records, it would become more and more difficult to really find out who had the highest and who had the lowest. I could always sort the data, but that won't give me a visual representation. I can identify the highs and the lows, but seeing how they compare to each other isn't as easy to tell. There is another option, though, and it's using the, the formula that stands for repeat in Microsoft Excel. To do this, I'm going to hit the enter sign and then type REPT, which again stands for repeat. Hit open parentheses, and Microsoft Excel prompts you for what text do you want to have repeated. In quotations, I'm going to enter the uppercase I, and I'm going to enter a comma, and then asks me what number of times. Because we're trying to get more information about the numbers that are in the column B, I'm going to select this number, 51, and enter my close parentheses and press enter. You see what it does is it creates what looks like a bar chart. Now if I drag this all the way down, it isn't difficult to tell that David had the highest with 75 and Adam had the lowest with 10. What you can also determine by this chart is that Adam is significantly off. If you look in comparison to the other ones, the ranges are much higher. So this is, gives you more information you can drill down to figure out what's going on with this particular sales representative for this particular month.